this is third part of video video compression to continuation to first two parts we are going to brief about most remaining standards of video compression first we will take a look on j.81 J.81 standard specifies the coding and transmission of digital television signal at variable bit rates of 34 to 45 Mbps in the format specified by recommendation ITU R601. Net video capacity is between 26 and 31 Mbps for Europe and depends on the number of optional channels used. J.81 provides very high quality which is suitable for transparent compression necessary for contribution applications. ITUT J.11 operates on a field basis with three different processing modes for each macro blocks that is intra interfield predicted and interframe predicted an extension of this algorithm was used to in the first all digital transmission of hstv through satellite and fiber optic links in 1980 in europe Fractal based coding. Fractal coding is a new and promising technique in an image values of pixels that are close are correlated. Transform coding takes advantage of this observation. Fractal compression takes advantage of the observation that some image features like straight edges and constant regions are invariant when rescaled. Representing straight edges and constant regions efficiently using fractal coding is important because transform coders cannot take advantage of these types of spatial structures. Fractal coding tries to reconstruct the image by representing the regions as geometrically transformed versions of other regions in the same image. There is not much material on fractal based video coding. Most of the research currently focuses on fractal based image coding. Model based video coding. Model based schemes define three dimensional space structural models of the scene. Coders and decoders use an object model. The same model is used by coder to analyze the image and by decoder to generate the image. Traditionally, research in model based video coding that is MBVC focuses on head modeling, head tracking, local motion tracking and expression analysis synthesis. MBSV have been mainly used for video conferencing and video telephony since mostly human head is modeled. MBVC has concentrated in modeling of image like head and shoulders because it is impossible to model every object that may be in the scene. There is lots of interest in applications such as speech driven image animation of talking heads and virtual space teleconferencing. In model based approaches, a parameterized model is used for each object in the scene. Coding 
and transmission is done using the parameters associated with the objects. Tools from image analysis and computer vision is used to analyze the images and find the parameters. This analysis provides information on several parameters like size, location and motion of the objects in the scene. Results have shown in that it is possible to get good visual quality at rate as low as 16 kbps. Scalable Video Coding Multimedia communication systems may have nodes with limited computation power to be used for decoding and heterogeneous networks such as combination of wired and wireless networks. In these cases, we need the ability to decode at a variety of bit rates. Scalable coders has this property. Layered multicast has been proposed as a way to provide scalability in video communication systems. MPEG2 has a basic mechanisms to achieve scalability but it is limited. Spatio temporal resolution pyramids is a promising approach to provide scalable video coding. Open loop and closed loop pyramid coders both provide efficient video coding and inclusion of multi-scale motion compensation. Pyramid coders have multi-stage quantization scheme. Bit allocation to the various quantizers depending on the image is important to get efficient comp compression. Optimal bit allocation is optimally computationally infeasible when pyramids with more than two layers are used. Closed loop pyramid coders are better suited for practical application than open loop pyramid coders since they are less sensitive to suboptimal bit allocations and simple heuristic can be used. There are several ways to utilize multi-stage motion compensation. Efficiently computing motion vectors and then encoding them by hierarchical group estimation is one way. When video is sent over heterogeneous networks, scalability is utilized by offering a way to reduce the bit rate of video data in case of congestion. By using priorities, the network layer can reduce bit rate without knowing the content of the packet or informing the sender. Wavelet based coding Wavelet transform techniques have been investigated for low bit rate coding. Wavelet based coding has better performance than traditional DCT based coding. Much lower bit rate and reasonable performance are reported based on the application of these techniques to still images. A combination of wavelet transform and vector quantization gives better performance. Wavelet transform decomposes the image into a multi-frequency channel representation, each component of which has its own frequency characteristics and spatial orientation features that can be efficiently used for coding. Wavelet based coding has two main advantages. It is highly scalable and a fully embedded bit stream may be easily generated. The main advantage over standard techniques such as MPEG is that video construction is achieved in a fully embedded fashion. 
encoding and decoding process can stop at a predetermined bit rate the encoded stream can be scaled to produce the desired spatial resolution and frame rate as well as the required bit rate vector quantization makes use of the correlation and the redundancy between nearby pixels or between frequency bands wavelet transform with vector quantization exploit the residual correlation among different layers if the wavelet transform domain using block rearrangement to improve the coding efficiency further improvements can also be made by developing the adaptive threshold techniques for classification based on the con contrast sensitivity characteristics of the human visual system joint coding of the wt with trellis coded quantization as a joint source or channel coding is an area to be considered additionally video coding research applying the wavelet transform on a very low bit rate communication channel is performed the efficiency of a motion compensated prediction can be improved by overlapped motion compensation in which the candidate regions from the previous frame are windowed to obtain a pixel value in the predicted frame since the wavelet transform generates multiple frequency bands multi frequency motion estimation is available for the transform frame it also provides a representation of the global motion structure also the motion vector in lower frequency band are predicted with the more specific detail of higher frequency bands this hierarchical motion estimation can also be implemented with segmentation technique that utilizes edge boundaries from the zero crossing point in the wavelet transform domain each frequency band can be classified as temporal activity macro blocks or no temporal activity macro blocks the lowest band may be coded using an h.261 like coder which uses dct and the other band may be coded using vector quantization or trellis coded quantization